Hello everybody. I still decided to keep it just with one light and have a little bit sunlight here. I think it makes a better version and we'll talk of course now the away version of the jersey that I previously talked about Lusk. My team. That's the jersey that they wore in 96 in Bremen where they we were as rank outsiders. Bremen just had a very suc a relatively successful season. Uh, were and I think in that season they ended up no, they did not win the German Cup yet. That was a few seasons later. But yeah, Bremen was still a very good team uh, back then in Germany, a top team. They played in the uh, Inter Toto Cup, UEFA Inter Toto Cup or UI Cup, and were at home and last beat them 3 1. We had the former Kaiserslautern coach, uh, and I think he even coached Frankfurt, Friedel Rausch at the moment, who was kind of this big acquisition for our team. Who unfortunately, yeah, did not. He had a successful uh, spring, I uh, know, uh, fall season, and then the spring kind of fell a little bit all apart, and no one ever really got to like him that much. Nevertheless, let's look at the weight jersey, which is basically the red and black version of the home jersey. Almost. Uh, it is not exactly. Um, a reverse wise uh, because it's not uh, swapping out white for red but we have the red swaps out the black except for the color and the black is with the white so if I hold this up here it's not an exact ah, that didn't work anyway uh, this is my second ever last jersey and I remember I got this one for Christmas from my parents and I think it was in 97 um, uh, this version, but not exactly this shirt. Um, that was that actually my brother got, and there was at the end of the '99 season, we had switched from Reebok uh, then to Puma, and they had this um, promotion that you can hand in your old last shirt and get a new Puma shirt. For free, and my brother wanted to have the red, the away jersey from Puma back then, and he said, "Well, trade in this one uh, to get the Puma uh, jersey in red and um, black." But I said, "Are you sure?" And why did I say that? Because he had name and number back on there. So I said, do you mind if I give you mine without name and number? And although I got this for Christmas from my parents, I thought this is better. And they said, yeah, go ahead. I don't want this. I still don't understand it. This, this jersey is perfection because of that. This was the numbering style that Reebok used back then. And I find it so clever. And this, uh, the same numbers, exactly the same, with the red outline and the black, were used also on the black and white jersey. With the white bar and the name on there. I find this... A smart way for a striped jersey to include the name and number and you also have some branding from the sponsor there. This is Brandon Augustine, a South African national team player, actually played in the 98 World Cup one game. Uh, he was more, he did not do much there and I think he was even fired from the squad then <laughs> because he was one among the older players who made a little revolution there I guess. Well something like that but more importantly um, he was a uh, good player for South Africa in 97 and he played for our team and he was always kind of this that everyone knew he has a lot of talent but he did not always show it all the time if he showed up he was spectacular if and we always used to have some players in the late 90s like the like this but yeah uh, this shirt it's everything that this shirt was also the thin almost see-through material um, the crest now is uh, bordered in white, which actually also fits with the jersey and the sponsor. It's also made to adapt. And this is how sponsors should be made. Adapt to the team that you're sponsoring. Not pull your uh, color and splash something on that doesn't fit with the jersey. And unfortunately, my, my team at the moment does the same thing where we have a local bank, which is uh, yellow and black. So we have on the... Black and white jersey, we have yellow sleeves, which doesn't make any sense. Again, as far as away jerseys go for Lusk, 
It's maybe not a traditional away jersey. Uh, there have been other ones in yellow, all black uh, and so on. But I think red fits very well with our color scheme because not only is it uh, red, the, uh, the colors of the city of Linz, red, red and white, but the red and white are also the colors for um, the local region, Upper Austria. So, and since Lask is always seen as the club of Upper Austria, this makes perfect sense to have a little bit red. Yes, could be red and white, but the red makes a whole lot, lot of sense and have the black in there. At the time, everyone said, yeah, this looks like an AC Milan jersey. Yeah, I'm an AC Milan fan, so for me, this was just a double whammy. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey, front and the beauty on the back. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.